It's your boy and Gunnar in the house back with another bang on episode where ladies and gentlemen if you talk about there are lots of things that are, as I already mentioned in my previous episodes that we will be changing we will, we will be revamping certain things on this channel and uh, with that being said to make you feel guy to make you guys feel exciting about it we're gonna bring in some shows wherein you guys will have more of your opinion laid out on a weekly basis so to be a part of that is pretty much simple uh, uh, follow me on my Instagram if you have not still yet and uh, follow me uh, on Twitter as well and of course further instructions I will be sharing with you guys as well so uh, we will have the FIFA content yes but the second channel will be predominantly used for the FIFA content so stay tuned for that as well and without any further ado let's just get into the best business end of this episode wherein we are going to dis discuss about of course you've seen the thumbnail it's Aliko Dengote will he be the new Arsenal owner and if, if yes how sooner can we expect him to be? Well, that and of course, a lot of other things will be expected as well. So without any further ado, let's just hit it where it hurts the most. So Bakary Sanya, you all know who is Bakary Sanya, ex-Arsenal defender, on his Instagram story had a Q&A because it was quite long that he ever had a Q&A. So he actually posted this. It's been a long time, so I'm listening. So somebody asked him, Arsenal's best player right now. Even the real Bakary Sanya knows that. It's Bukayo Saka and yes, it's Bukayo Saka at the moment. He's the best Arsenal player that you can name. There's nobody else. No chance. No chance. And I'm pretty much sure a lot of Arsenal fans or literally the entire Arsenal fan base will agree to that. Moving on. So let's talk about the owner of Dangote Simmons. Well, we've been linked with him. Of course, we have been. What else do we have? You know, uh, in the future. So it looks like Arsenal... Arsenal are open to summer sale as Aliko Dengote can start takeover talks with Stan Kroenke. Well, let's see what the reality is all about. But first, we're going to discuss about the injury boost in Thomas Teye Partey. Yes, it looks like Thomas Partey gets injured one week and just gives injury boost the other week because uh, it looks like his back in full training was seen before the game against Manchester City on Saturday. And that looks like a huge boost for Arsenal and Mikel Arteta ahead of the Europa League encounter against Benfica. So let's see if that's going to be happening or not because Partey was actually spotted in Saturday's training session at London Colney ahead of the Manchester City clash although it seemed he was involved in his own individual session as he peeked through the netting to keep tabs on his teammates. Now let's talk about when exactly can Aliko Dengote start the takeover talks. Now talks over a potential takeover at Arsenal could start up in the not too distant future. Aliko Dengote who is the richest man in Africa has made no secret in the past of his desire to buy out Stan Kroenke at Arsenal and become the owner at the Emirates Stadium. Well, he is the 206th richest man in the world according to the Forbes Rich List with a net worth of $11.8 billion and has openly stated that the conclusion of his oil refinery in Lagos, Nigeria would be the time when he would think about Arsenal once more. He said, it is a team that yes, I would like to buy someday but what I keep saying is that we have $20 billion uh, dollars worth of projects and that's what I really want to concentrate on. I'm trying to finish building the company and then after we finish, maybe sometime in 2021 we can. I'm not buying Arsenal right now, I'm buying Arsenal when I finish all these projects because I'm trying to take the company to the next level. So that is the reality, ladies and gentlemen, and, and it looks like he might be. There's a strong possibility that this summer you could see Aliko Tengote. But moving on, so Mikel Arteta has hinted that the perfect Hector Bellerin re replacement at Arsenal is ready to be the next vice captain. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. So Hector Bellerin's potential Arsenal exit this summer poses more questions than one. As revealed earlier, that the Spaniard was at crossroads. Of course, we all talk about it because Bellerin elected to stay with Arsenal and has remained the undisputed right back option, raking up 27 appearances across all competitions. There's nobody to actually uh, you know, deny him that. But according to a report by CBS Reports, Bahrain may not be available at club next season as it, it is claimed that he is actually keen to test himself outside of the Premier League. Now Paris Saint-Germain, Barcelona or at least two Serie A clubs are said to be monitoring Bahrain's situation with a view to making a potential bid in the summer transfer window. Now the big question is, how much will he be sold for? Number two, who will replace him? Well, the answer to the question too is that Arsenal are already thinking of getting either Max Ahrens or Tariq Lamptey as two potential replacements. And the next question is, who will be the next Arsenal vice-captain? Now, it looks like it is a role that the right-back has been in since last season. 
and he under and he's actually understudy to PA Emmerich Aubameyang. We all know that, but it looks like in his absence, lots of captains have already gone. But it looks like Kieran Tierney looks like looks like he's he's touted to be the next Arsenal captain. So uh, Arteta had said that I think Tierney can be an Arsenal captain, as he has the respect and admiration of every member of the staff and every player. It is just the way he is. He does it in a natural way. He is a really shy boy as well, but he represents all of us in the club, all of the values that we want to instill and are in the DNA in this club, in him. So let's see if that's going to be happening or not. Let me know in the comments. What do you guys really feel? Kieran Tierney, of course, I personally believe that yes, Kieran Tierney should be. Uh, there's, there's nothing wrong in making uh, Kieran Tierney um, the wise captain. There's, whoa, whoa, whoa. How does it? I don't think so. I, there is anything wrong in that. So let's see if that's going to be happening or not. Um, if that's the reality, we'll come to know about it. But also talking about more stuff that we got here is Kevin Campbell has already spoken about Bukayo Saka. Now, if you ask me, uh, I agree with Kevin Campbell here 100%. I mean, really, I, I completely 100% believe what he's actually trying to say here. And of course, he said, Saka at times needs a rest. Yeah, true. Uh, for uh, the problem for Arteta is Saka has been carrying the team. It does not bode well for the other players when a teenager is carrying them. Uh, we've been crying out for the experienced players to step up for weeks now, but they have not. Very well, they have not. Okay, that's kind of cool. Kind of cool. So moving on. So Alex Scott has opened up about Tierney. She says. Most of Arsenal's attacks come constantly down the left-hand side. Sometimes it's him doing more than one job. Attacking, getting back and defending. Trying to get assists. He has been one of, the, one of Arsenal's outstanding players this season. Yes, it looks like it. Why not? Why not? Well, moving on. So it looks like according to Tom Barclay, Arsenal are in talks with Miguel Aziz over a new con long-term contract. Yes, a new long-term contract for the new Arsenal's midfield general, that's what I'm going to call him, yes, the midfield prince of Arsenal. Yes, I want him to represent Arsenal at one point of time and that too for a long period of time because he's got what it takes. He's, he's classy yeah, and I can tell you that the, the body language shows as well. So Arsenal's summer transfer plans are already taking shape. The January window can be deemed a successful one wherein Arsenal literally got rid of a lot of deadwood in terms of wage bills. Socrates, Mesut, Mustafi, Kolasinac for that matter. And there could be some key, more key, key players and exits that, uh, you know, come the end of the season as well. And underway is Alex Lacazette and, of course, Eddie and Now Both fall into that category and Arsenal are likely to open to letting both players leave as they enter into the final year of their contracts at the Emirates Stadium. With that said, there's a theory among some Arsenal supporters on Reddit and social media that a definitive decision to cash in on the two players has already been made. So somebody, the so people are actually uh, uh, gone on uh, Reddit. They are saying that good for Enketia, he should be sold. Someone says uh, Laka still has a role to play this season. They are both definitely gone in the summer. Another one says we have to sell Laka with our finances the way they are. We can't afford to let anyone go for free. And I don't see us offering Laka at a nice new contract. Another one said they are gone in the summer. Another one said I feel like both should be sold in the summer. I love Laka said, but he's getting old. And we don't cash in now, we find ourselves in another situation where we've got a player in his 30s on high wages we can't sell. And Ketty, I don't think we'll ever be good enough to be our first choice striker. So this is the verdict of, of, of a lot of Arsenal fans right away. So we'll discuss about this soon in a show where we'll find a lot of Arsenal fans joining us as well. So, uh, and also a decision to sell Lacazette or Nketia could be key to Arsenal's summer plans and as much as much money that Arsenal might receive, they could actually fund for a new striker, you know. And if buyers can be found, Arsenal could set for a cool 49.5 million pound windfall as per their market values on transfermarket.com. So offers of 31.5 million pounds for Lacazette and 18 for Enketia could be too hard to resist and would represent a great piece of business from the club as both players are out of contract at the end of next season. So it makes it's a win-win for all the parties, so I'm pretty much sure I think everyone 
wins here but that's a big question let's see if that's going to be happening or not so with this we end this episode thank you so much for tuning in all the news and views and everything about arsenal comes on this platform every single day twice minimum and of course to uh, like su supremely like we actually talk about a lot of arsenal stuffs as well so if you want to get uh, related uh, if you want to actually be a part of it do join in subscribe hit that bell icon i will see you in the next one cheers